Welcome back to the shop. Well, it's been uh, several days since I've had an opportunity to make a video, and I've been busy doing a lot of things. Uh, I've been working on the shopsmith some more and doing some other things around the shop, and I know I keep promising a video about that shopsmith, and I'm going to get to that, I promise. But in the meantime, I just came across all of the still images I took of the shopsmith when I first brought it into the shop and so if you go over to my Facebook page uh, you can see those images and uh, also I'll, I'll put those on the Instagram page also if you don't uh, know how to get to the Facebook and the Instagram page I'll put the links in the description down below so that you can uh, head on over there and stay connected that way I, I am able to update just brief little updates on the Instagram and the Facebook much more often than I'm able to shoot and edit a video with my old slow computer. Um, so anyway, I'm um, going to do an, an unboxing video today. Have you ever been on the internet and you see an item that is for sale at, at a price that's just so difficult to believe that you have no alternative but to log into your account and order that item. Well, such was the case for me uh, when I got one of the Bud K deal of the day, or steal of the day, I think they call it, um, items a little over a week ago. And that item was uh, an, an axe. It was a firefighter's axe uh, for $10. Now, you know, I know what you're thinking, that a $10 axe has got to be not much better than a paperweight and you're probably right but how do you say no to a ten dollar axe uh, so i ordered a ten dollar axe and while i was at it uh, i also ordered one of the uh, three dollar knives that that they have on uh, bud k pretty much all the time uh, i think they call it their wahoo knife or something like that uh, it, it Looking at it in the catalog reminded me of the Mora Companion knife that I just love dearly. And so I bought one. Um, and I had a deal for free shipping. So how great is that? For $12 I got an axe and a knife. And I haven't yet looked at them. They're still in the box. So I'm going to reset the camera and we can all take a look at that together. So here's the box. Um, Express shipping, ship to average Joe. I like how Bud K doesn't put their actual name of their company because a lot of people know Bud K and if they saw packages coming from Bud K they might think, hey, here's some goodies that, uh, that they could help themselves to because uh, these things are generally just left on the door uh, doorstep by the delivery service. They just put BKW. Um, so I guess if you're so inclined, you would know that BKW is Bud K anyway. Could have yourselves. But anyway, let's get this open. And inside, we are met with the obligatory packing slip. Um, it has that, and there we've got the Wahoo Killer uh, fillet knife and the Black Legion Firefighter Axe. Uh, grand total $12.97. Um, always good to have another Bud K catalog. I think I may already have this catalog. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But, hey, it's an ever-present reminder that Christmas is on the way, and there's the gift-giving guide of never-before-seen products, like the Yoda head busting out of the wall. Everybody needs at least one of those. Um, not. And we've got a lot of crinkly brown paper. And inside... We have Black Legion Firefighter Axe. It's at least got some heft to it. And the Wahoo Killer Filet Knife. Now since I've been looking at it in the catalog for such a long time and never actually popped on getting one, let's take a look at the Wahoo Killer 
fillet knife and see what we got. Uh, as you can see here, um, probably ABS plastic sheath, uh, over molded grip on the handle, blade stamped, stainless steel china with the Bud K stock number. And uh, out of the package, it, it seems like it it seems like it might cut. Well, it'll rip, that's for sure. Now this is this is actually uh, got a sticker on it, so it's not too surprising that it's not cutting that well. But you know, out of the package, that's not too bad. Um, like I said, over molded grip. It's small, so if you have a smaller hand, I, I think that would fit your hand pretty well. Um, like I say here, I always keep here on the workbench. This is this is my Mora knife. Uh, this is actually the chisel. This is not the companion. This is the the Mora knife high carbon steel uh, wood chisel that I just love, and I keep on the workbench, and I use it for all sorts of things. Um, and you can see how, looking at it in the package, I would get the idea that one is trying to copy the other. And uh, if I had to hasten a guess, I would say that the $3 Chinese knife is probably trying to copy the Swiss-made high-carbon steel knife. Uh, the Mora, Mora Knife Companion has the same grip, uh, but a drop point uh, blade. Again, high carbon steel, shaving sharp out of the box. This one is sharp enough to cut paper. Um, maybe not quite. Yeah, okay. All right. If I don't give up, it's doing a little shaving there. Um, not too bad out of the package. The, the real question with these knives is not can they get sharp, it's will they stay sharp. And, and I guess that only... That only comes with use it, to, to know the knowledge of that. Um, the other thing that's interesting to me is they call it a fillet knife, but fillet knives are generally flexible, and that is anything but flexible. I, I would be a little worried to put too much pressure on that for fear that it doesn't go very far into the handle and might snap off. Um, so yeah, I would, I would consider that more of a, a small camp knife or a bushcraft knife rather than a fillet knife, but they're calling it a fillet knife and so we'll default to the wisdom of the good folks at Bud K that they know what they're talking about and that's the Wahoo Killer Fillet Knife. Pretty good deal for three bucks I would say. Uh, so let's take a look at the piece Too Good To Be True, the $10 Black Savage, which is interesting because the invoice and the internet website said Black Legion, and this clearly on here says Black Savage uh, Firefighter Axe. Let's uh, open her up and see if she was worth the $10 price tag. Well, right out of the package, I can tell you it's got this high visibility plastic over molded grip on the handle. Plastic handle um, doesn't feel too rich. Um, you know, definitely not any sort of glass reinforced nylon or anything like that. Um, it's got a uh, sort of a bead blasted feel to the finish. Um, I, I doubt that it's much more than ABS plastic in all honesty. Um, how that how that will wear over time, I don't know. Uh, the head seems to have some weight to it. The, the pike, this is interesting and I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not, but the pike is flat. It uh, doesn't actually come to a point. 
So that might be good for hooking and pulling. Uh, not sure how good that's going to be for piercing. Uh, you know, maybe with a little bit of effort and a little bit of work, uh, that could be tuned up and actually brought down more into a pike uh, so that it would be better for piercing. Um, I don't know that it's worth the trouble. Now, I can tell you, oh, okay, uh, I was looking at this and, and seeing that it does not look very sharp. However, I can also see that there is a rubberized coating on this edge that will need to come off. But that right there is a powerfully dull axe. Um, as a matter of fact, if that gives you any indication of, of how dull that is on a sharp axe or, or even my pocket knife that I carry every day, which is not the sharpest thing, I would not have any confidence to hit that like that and rub my hand into it, but that is just rounded right over. Um, it is, however, a big chunk of steel. So I got to believe that with some file work and some effort, I can get an edge put on that. But out of the package, it does not impress. Um, by the pound, probably not such a bad deal. If you were looking for a, an anchor for a small boat, this might be just the ticket. Um, yeah, as an anchor, it's, it's got a pretty decent little place to latch in back there. Uh, the handle seems to be molded in there pretty well. You know, and actually as I say that I look here and and I feel what what appears to be a silicone adhesive so it appears that the handle is silicone glued into the head um, no wedge yeah um, I would say in the ten dollar axe category this is worth its weight. Um, however, in the axe category, probably not the best axe that a person could get. Um, Black Savage Survival, I suppose, were I, found, were I in a survival situation, would be better to have this axe than no axe. However, um, for the amount of weight um, I don't know how much this weighs exactly, but, you know, it's a few pounds. And for the weight, I, I would not carry this in a survival situation. I think just a small hatchet and, and my Mora knife chisel to baton some small pieces of wood would do me just as good, if not better, than the Black Savage Survival Axe from Bud K. Um, so, yeah, that's... That's that. That's the Black Savage Survival Axe and the Wahoo Killer Filet Knife. There it is. So there you have it. Um, the Black Savage Survival Axe, Firefighter Axe from Bud K and the Wahoo Killer Filet Knife. Um, yeah, I don't regret the purchase. Uh, it, it's it's about what you could expect probably for a ten dollar axe. I'll work on it with a file and see if I can get a decent edge on the axe. And when I do, uh, maybe we'll make another video, actually reviewing it in use. We'll get some pieces of wood and see if we can split them for the fireplace or something like that. Or uh, we'll see what we can do on that. But anyway, uh, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching the video, thanks for hanging out, thanks for subscribing to the channel, and don't forget, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up down below. I uh, really would appreciate you subscribing to the channel, sharing this with your friends if it's something you enjoy. Uh, leave a comment down below or over on my Facebook page if there's something that you'd like to see, uh, something that you see that you definitely didn't like, 
let's get a conversation going. If you have some input on firefighter axes or ways to sharpen them or something like that, hey, throw that in there too. And don't forget my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Drop me a line through an email at AverageJoeShopTalk at gmail.com. And we'll keep talking. Uh, so that's all I got today. Until we next meet, keep the faith, walk the walk, and go with God. Mm -hmm.